my Yamaha R6 2019. Um, if you guys are anything like me, you probably have a check engine light and you don't know what it means. I was out in the canyons with my friends shooting some flames, which is pretty cool on this bike. It's straight piped, so it does shoot flames, but it's not tuned, so it's running a little rich. It's not supposed to do that, So, um, it, but I like it, so I don't really care. But it does throw a code because of that, so I'm gonna teach you guys how I read it and how I delete it. But first, check this thing out, sheesh. You guys are only gonna need two things. Get out of here, please, get out of here. Hey, you, you bit my watch, dude. You guys need two things, an OBD2 scanner and then a OBD2 to motorcycle adapter. That's going to be about 15 bucks on eBay or Amazon. That's about 25 bucks on Amazon. So for about, you know, 30 to 40 bucks, you guys can delete your codes, figure out what that is without having to take it to a shop. Next step is find this thingy on your bike. This is basically the OBD2 sensor of your bike, I guess. <laughs> that's, that's what I would call it because I don't know the proper term. And here's a good look at what it looks like. And then you plug this one into it. Bam, one hand. And now you get this OBD2 sensor and you plug this in to that. See? Nice. Click. And you even see it turning on because it's getting battery. However, you need to turn on the ignition on the bike. There we go. Now, when you guys come over here, go to OBD it'll tell you codes found. If it says one, just click OK, and it'll even, oh, <laughs> there you go, look. It gives you the uh, option to erase codes, click OK, click yes, there you go. Now that everything's done, go ride your bike again and see if the code comes back. If the code comes back, that's for sure an issue. If it doesn't come back, it might just be like, I don't know, something set it off. Or instead of erasing the codes, you guys can just, uh, you know, back out and figure out what that is, solve it, and then erase the code and see if it comes back. Um, usually I erase the code first, but it's all about preference. So anyways, take care guys. See you later.